what you can feel is that they are. Why is this so challenging right now? <laughs> okay, these people really knew the person they lost. So they get a chance to, um, you know, draw from something real from there, and you can feel that pain uh, in here. And I guess that's the thing that was yeah. latching on to so much. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? The trailer that we all expected to come out has actually come out. Black Panther 2, Wakanda forever. John, how are you feeling? You excited? As a black man, I am very excited. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> well, as a Latino man, I'm very excited to see some culture represented here, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Andrew, as a white man, how are you Are you excited to see Everett K. Ross return Thank, here? <laughs> I'm very excited, but no, I'm, I'm feeling emotional. Just, of course. Uh, of course, just we already know what I'm feeling emotional about, but uh, excited uh, for uh, what we're about to see as well. I imagine it's kind of strange because you're going to, you got a She-Hulk trailer that I imagine we're going to get a, a very different trailer here. So, guys, Leave a like. That'd be very much appreciated. You could also subscribe and click that notification bell. But enough chit-chat. Uh, let's see what Ryan Coogler and team has in store for uh, something that I imagine was a massive task at hand. Oh. Hmm. Right off the bat. Wow. And good friends we along the way. In this great future, you can't forget your past. So dry mm. That little submariner. And here we go. <laughs> Here she is, <laughs> Riri Williams. The makeup looks phenomenal. Baku. Oh, holy that was shit. Oh, oh wow. Fuck. <laughs> that was so swelling. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was so. T oh, wow. I was like, <laughs> I, I had a feeling this would be a more serious trailer, but I was like, that was very. You could feel the grievance throughout that whole trailer and the, yeah. and the pain. Yeah, it's the fucking shit. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. Oh, what is what, what is fucking trailer? <laughs> God damn it! Oh man, oh, it needs to. St okay, we need to get focused, people. <laughs> well, that's the thing Whoa. is, I mean, I mean, oh fuck! I flashed back because you know it's like we've seen the Tony Stark mural all over the MCU since the <laughs> character, but it, it hits you totally different to see the mural of of T'Challa and to see that image of Chadwick. Like like any time that shows up here from now on is, I feel like it's gonna tug your heartstring. I mean, you have to be like extra sensitive with handling you know this material and you could f they said that you would feel the presence of chadwick boseman throughout and it seems like what they're really capturing here is the loss of t'challa through every character like so much of that harrowing painstaking quality is here it's like yeah i mean you got all the cool marvel stuff of course <laughs> you know like it's doing really what you do when you watch the marvel trailers you're, you're like oh there's namor look at the culture being exposed like there's stuff i can already pick up on in terms of plot uh that it looks like they 
they pull Namor out, right? Like he's in he's in whatever that tank is of the water. It's something, yeah. I yeah. Mean, it looks like whatever that military operation is, yeah. And then it's gonna lead to a war with the uh, Alanians and uh the Wakandans and, and Ramon to Angela Bassett. Holy cow. She looks so powerful in this movie. It looks so powerful. Oh yeah. Everyone does, you know, despite whatever opinion differences you have with Letitia, right? Like she looks freaking <laughs> amazing in this movie too. Yeah. But I mean, Andrew, how are you, man? How are um you? Uh, again, I think uh, how I described how it was going to be earlier, just really emotional. I think John just put it best. Like, it's one thing when you see the mural of a character that just died as a character, but when you see something, you know, the actor actually passed away, it just it hits you differently. And um, like you guys were just mentioning earlier, I'm I'm glad that they're paying respect. Uh, you know, you feel you do feel the presence of Chadwick, but it's done in a very respectful way, and it actually is integral to the plot. Uh, so I'm glad that they're they're doing that, and then obviously you know we get to see some really cool stuff with Namor. I think we got a glimpse too of uh, Riri Williams. Oh, we definitely uh, did, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, we got that sick shot of uh, I'm assuming that Shuri uh, in the Black Panther suit at the end. That was really cool as well. Yeah, if you know anything about Riri Williams, I mean this is such a cool character that Brian Michael Bendis came up with. Uh, he was they were going to be filming a uh, TV show in Chicago, and uh, that show got scrapped. But he came up with the idea for this character and. She's just on a different level of intelligence, and it's going to be really fascinating how they're going to, uh, and obviously her character is also known as Ironheart. Uh, course, it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how they uh, uh, integrated her into the MCU without Tony Stark, because that was a very big mm -hmm. thing in the comic book. So uh, I'm very curious to see uh, how uh, Ryan Coogler introduces her in this film, but I, I really like uh, just the little glimpses we have seen so far of her. And I like that we're already going to see a little bit of the origin story of Namor. That looks really interesting as well. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Holy shit. No, this is no, so I, fucking no, emotional. I, I feel it. I'm trying really no, to no, hold no, that. No, this is so hard. I feel you, no, man. I was absolutely. not anticipating this. <laughs> this is the, the rare occasion <laughs> where... Oh, where, shit. This is the yeah no this is the rare occasion where like it is a cultural moment like the first Black Panther was for its own reasons and this one is something that I think yeah is like super touching and it's like we all lost a little something I mean for everybody involved who was close to Chadwick <sighs> Boseman obviously it is much greater but yeah like this is one of those movies that this is going to be an emotional experience and a visceral experience and I I love the way the film styles complement that feeling because so much of the early parts, it is just like Ryan Coogler up in the emotions, which he is so good at. But then you have this other stuff that looks like a Nolan thriller or stuff that looks like Avatar or 300. Like, and all those movies aim for some level of like emotional, harrowing, yeah. harrowing emotional you know, expression to some degree. I'm so glad you guys are handling the conversation. Right it's, now. it's all good. <laughs> um, yeah, that uh, it was just so epic and sweeping and, and just so beautiful to, yeah. to behold. And, and there's something that's weirdly like uh, cathartic about it. I need to stop <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, the the one we have so many things in this office and the one thing we don't have are fucking tissues for some reason. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're okay. Um all right. Uh yeah, I just kinda need to take that in. I I, I wasn't expecting to be so so moved, you know. <laughs> I was more yeah. like, I'm curious to see how they're gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's the best switch to turn into like this looks like this could be one of the most powerful um, moving experiences from from Marvel and and it's it's like they had to work with such a something so delicate, so sensitive, and you could feel like there's something that felt that registered as so authentic in the in the mood of, of this trailer, you know, and and it seemed like I guess what I was picking up on what's so effective about the loss here is, is that these actors seem like they they're the ones who really need like 99 percent of us didn't know Chadwick Boseman and. They're the ones who really knew Chadwick Boseman. And when you get the sense in this trailer is. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to get through this. I promise. This is so awkward. I've never been between two male friends before. Right? Let's um, both so, put a hand on your so, shoulder. Um, what you can feel is that they are. Why is this so challenging right now? Okay. It's free. It's just I feel, I feel like I'm making this about like me, and I don't want to make it about me. Um, 
the reason it's so challenging is because uh, the reason it's so cathartic is because you know like from from acting experiences you know sometimes people have the, the thing of like you draw from pain uh, or like real life things or you know you just draw through the minds of the characters and these people really knew the person they lost so they get a chance to uh, you know draw from something real from there and you can feel that pain uh, in here and i guess that's the thing that was yeah, latching on to so much because <laughs> you, you can feel it in yeah. every face and in yeah. how yeah. the camera takes it all. Like it's everybody and yeah. the song choices as well. Yeah, yeah. that was uh, <laughs> that was yeah. You know, <laughs> the one thing that like when you cry watching something, but when you're like I, just trying to talk about something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I can tell you this. I mean, this is an obvious statement. I'm gonna be bringing a whole tissue box oh, when I see this film. Fucking shit. <laughs> um, already. Uh, hey, John, why don't you close this out, man? <laughs> Guys, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, hey, leave a like, leave a comment. On what, we want to know your thoughts as well. Were you as you know affected and moved as we were? And uh, hey, keep an eye out. We're going to talk about as well the other announcements from Phase five, uh, 4 and 5 and beyond. So thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll see you soon.